have you ever wondered how we get these nice, gorgeous, beautiful pictures of cars? Well, you're lucky today. We're going to show you from beginning to end. Unedited photos to edited photos. And you're going to see the difference. Let's get right into it. So photography is no different than just like any other kind of painting. So you want to start off with a clean canvas and I guess the right model. So the model today is uh, my good friends, J-Boys. Uh, what year is your Evo, J? It's a 2015 Evo 10. And it's all absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to start from that. So what's the first thing you look for when you're uh, out taking a photo shoot? Um, like uh, in this spot or something when taking photos. So the, you're basically saying it's a location, right? Yeah, it's in the location. So it is number one, it is important. Yeah. Even though you pick the right model, you have to have a right backdrop or canvas. That's very important. Because without that, Right. Your, your pictures are going to turn out crappy regardless, yeah. right? Yeah. So location is key. Location is really important about like taking photos. The, like there's only so much thing, um, so much for uh, your subject would be. Uh, the background is really important as well uh, when you're taking photos of something. As you can see, it's just to get that perfect picture you guys you have to position the model or the subject in the right position to get that sweet angles where it show its uh, beauty right sometimes you get these nice shots you guys you have to think creatively and think outside of the box don't be afraid to get her into different positions and sometimes it looks kind of awkward but but that's how you get these nice shots. As you can see, Dennis is getting like really low and getting into his position to get this nice sweet spot. Looks kind of awkward, but that's what you gotta do to get these uh, nice shots. By the way, you guys, I have a couple of uh, local photographers that I do use, uh, but my go-to one right now is obviously Dennis. <laughs> um, let's see what he's uh, what he's using to shoot you guys. All right, Dennis, do you sh uh, I guess do you care to share what your uh, go-to camera is or your setup? For sure. So I have a Fujifilm XT20 with a uh, 35 millimeters uh, focal point f1 uh, 1.4. Um, a lot of people get really surprised with this one because. Not a lot of people know, uh, like, when they talk about like photography and stuff for like cars and all that, they usually think about Nikon, Sony, or Canon. But those are usually the big heavy. Yeah, headers, those right? are the big ones. But I try to uh, stay away from those just because like um, budget-wise, you know, I don't have that much as well. So that's why I stick with Fuji. And um, so far, it hasn't disappointed me yet. And you know, honestly, you guys look at the pictures that uh, I've been posting, and you know, the one part of it is it is the setup of the camera. But honestly, if you have like fantastic um, photography skills and in your editing, it makes a huge difference. Because uh, look at the new Apple phone. A lot of new vloggers and stuff are using the Apple phone, in, and it's it's yielding a lot of beautiful pictures, right? So. You can go out and buy the most expensive camera, big, most expensive lens, but if you don't know how to use it and don't know how to, I guess, position the subject and stuff and post editing, it's, or even know how to use the camera itself, it's going to turn out really crappy. And uh, I've had first time experience with that or first hand experience with that. So let's go uh, continue. Dennis, is that the sweet spot up there? Yes. It could be just the littlest or the most simplest things like the wheels, how the wheels are turned out or the positioning of like the car can make a big difference how your photos turn out. But just little stuff like that. But don't be afraid to experiment and try out new things because you never, you never know. Some of these uh, photos turn out amazing, you guys. 
another key element you guys in a successful photo shoot is uh, make sure you change your locations uh, picking the proper location or changing them up makes a huge difference in your photos Dennis yes for this picture what are you looking for um, basically I'm trying to uh, highlight oh it's very close <laughs> I'm trying to highlight everything uh, at the same time manipulating like a good backdrop or background yeah uh, so like show you what I thought and so it just with the with the with the I guess the bleachers yeah brings out the car yeah it makes the car it highlights it yeah and so for the shot it's actually pretty simple uh, it looks pretty boring but Dennis decided to uh, put the car in between two walls and uh, overlooking or down the uh, corridor here in raw it looks pretty boring but this picture is going to pop so this shot is actually pretty simple uh, we chose about an hour before uh, sunset it's called the golden hour and it's just uh, the color just pops you guys um, absolutely gorgeous and in our city of Edmonton here we got this bridge here that it's mainly for buses but uh, we went and snuck on it and with the sky with that golden hue just gives that oh it's just beautiful you guys I'll show you guys the uh, before and after shot so a photographer tip you guys don't shoot cars in direct sunlight or high noon or when it, the sun's up at its highest all your shots are just blown out and even in uh, post editing with shots that are blown out you can't recover them they just yeah it's just no good so if you want those beautiful lines on your car and capture all those lines uh, at the golden hour or when the uh, sun is not super bright or super high so keep that in mind when you're going out for the photo shoot pick the right day you guys all right guys so uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlog so far um, <laughs> it's pretty shaky in the car right now, but uh, yeah, that's the life of a uh, lowered vehicle and our uh, sports suspensions, eh, you guys? But uh, if you guys are liking the vlog, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment below. So we're back at uh, Dennis's uh, studio here and look at the setup, you guys, it's super crazy. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this is the uh, raw footage, you guys. So Dennis just uh, uploaded it and... Let's uh, let's show them the. Uh and that's the edited version. So what Dennis did was uh, he played with the tone exposure, and that's the thing with a uh, editing program. It lets you change all the um, tones, highlights, the um, shadows, uh, the whites and blacks and exposure and contrast and all that good stuff so it makes a big difference from the uh, let's go can you pop back to the that's the raw and see how it doesn't pop as much in the especially on the background in the car and then we jump back to the edited one huge difference in the contrast mm -hmm. so there you go guys and uh, what Dennis is using here is uh, Lightroom I know there's other editing programs but uh, Preferably I use Lightroom too. I, I like Lightroom myself and uh, Photoshop is just doesn't have as much features, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Photoshop um, is totally different. It's actually totally different. Uh, yeah, both are different programs uh, Photoshop is more of like for me. I use Photoshop for like editing real hard uh, Photos because mostly I use Lightroom only for colors like my finished product basically yeah. rather yeah. than major editings that's what happens in um in photoshop basically yeah and there's other ones you can buy it's called like uh presets mm -hmm. or in video it's called LUTs mm -hmm. but uh it makes it more convenient but um you can spend less money and just do it all yourself yeah yeah it's just more convenient but you have to pay for the for yeah. the uh presets so I'm gonna end off the video with a few key tips that'll make your photo shoot more enjoyable and more successful. First off is don't worry about the camera gear, you guys. 
So if you go out and spend thousands of dollars on a camera gear and expect it to do its job, it'll probably turn out the opposite. Uh, if you don't know how to use a camera, your photos will turn out shady. Next tip, pick the right canvas, pick the right location and backdrop. That is key to a good photo shoot, especially for automotive. Pick the time of day. Don't pick it where it's so bright out or high noon. Pick out a shaded area or area or time that it's a little darker out. Uh, all the lines and the, the information that the sensor is going to pick up will be more, I guess, uh, not blown out. Be creative, you guys. I know it's going to look a little kind of goofy when you're like doing the Namor squat or like bending over and but those are all the behind the scenes and look at those Instagram models. They look all goofy when they're in like uh, real time but after the photos posted it looks fantastic. So get out there and be creative. And the last tip, you'll probably need uh, editing software or something like that once you guys get a little more advanced because the editing software makes a huge difference in a raw photo and an edited photo, as you can see in our vlog here. So go out there, be brave, be creative, and don't forget you guys, click that like button, leave a comment below, and if you like the channel and you like the content, do subscribe to the channel, you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. See ya. <laughs>